Cornell Hayes Jr. And now we know Nelly from being this Saint Lunatic, always ripping STL in the Cardinals. Just this overall fun, fun rapper. Like Nelly was that guy. I remember when Country Gamma released in 2000, which was his first studio album with the self titled song on there, and how crazy people were when that song dropped it was like we, it was something that we have not heard before and it was country and he has a bar in one of his songs like he made country cool like it was cool to be country and we needed that i think people down south people from the midwest we needed that okay in hip-hop to be just country we needed that um we had had it previously but of course you know times change sounds change within the industry so to have this at the turn of the millennium was it was crazy it was cool and i remember when that song came out i was fourth grade and how all the guys would go and get these band-aids and put under their eye like when i say nelly had the millennials in a choco he had the millennials in a choco so because of that i've always respected his artistry i've always um, respected how he bridged the gap with um hip-hop and country and I've always told people like Nelly walked so Drake could um, so he could run because a lot of the melody and the infusion of hip hop into R and B and making it all fit together, that was Nelly in the early 2000s, and it and, and it, it sounded so good. It was something that we really didn't hear because either you were R and B or you were hip hop, but to bridge the two together, I think it had not ever been done. Um, and Nelly made that possible. And also the, the bridging the gap between hip hop and country. Like I remember his song over and over and how that was just a hit. Y'all, but recently, this is all alleged, Nelly was arrested for driving without insurance and possession of E. Now, I know inflation must be hitting everybody hard because driving without insurance in 2024 is pretty much... A lot of people now that are having to choose between eating and insurance so that's not too far off from for the regular day person but for someone who is Grammy nominated and on his eight I mean and it has had eight studio albums it's just not making sense so let's talk about what I think is going on with our favorite rapper now people have always um call Nelly very immature they said that you know a lot of things that he does people just didn't rock with it and we saw that play out when he fell out with um his bandmates and I think a lot of that contribute like when you get older I think losing friends that have been with you from the beginning to see that you all just are not on the same page I think all of that plays a, a role in it. And again, I'm not making excuses, but you have to look at it from a human point of view and not so much as from a celebrity point of view. I think some sometimes we get caught up in, oh, he's a celebrity and he's this and he's that. No, these people are human and they have feelings just like the everyday person. And I think when he fell out with, I think it was um, Ali. Ali was the most vocal um, of the St. Lunatics and to fall out with him and say all the things that were said, I think that affected Nelly in a way, because Nelly, for one, even though he was the hottest out of the St. Lunatics, he never, he never forgot about the St. Lunatics. He brought them on. He had them in videos where, in in a time where you could have just said, nope, this, you know, this is what I'm doing now, and you y'all just no, I don't no, I'm just leaving. But he did put them on the videos. He did you know, allow them the opportunity to travel and tour with him and for people, for the same person that has been with you forever to turn on you, I think that plays a role into how you grow up and handle friendships and conflict later on in life. 
Another thing I think is happening with Nelly is that he's in a state of what we call arrested development. And that's when whatever age you plateaued or whatever age you had the most success, that's pretty much where your brain stops um, growing. And that can explain his immaturity a lot. Um, in my opinion, and this is coming as a fan, Nelly is very immature to be his age. Um, he had, um, you know, some pics in videos released recently. He has a lot of legal troubles with women who are alleging that, you know, he art them. So I'm just like, what is it? What is it? You have everything and he's a pretty you can tell he's a pretty stand-up guy he's very commendable I mean, he took his sister kids in after she lost her battle with leukemia like i said he's a pretty stand-up guy he took his friends everywhere he went with the same lunatics but i think the older you get and the industry has changed as well you're getting older the industry has changed and artists from the 90s and early 2000s, we see them spiral because they don't know what's next. I mean, think about retired people who have worked for years and years upon years. And when they get a certain age and realize that they can't do it anymore, that bothers them. And, that's, that, and that can be applied and applicable to so many other situations. Like you're in a state of what's next. And to be honest, I feel like that's where Nelly is. He's in a state of arrested development. You know, he's his as an individual, he stopped maturing at a certain age. And it's 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 all unfortunate. It's it's all sad. And I really hope that he is able to get it together. He has recently reconnected with his ex Ashanti and they have this beautiful baby boy. And I think for the sake of this new baby that he really should. Nelly is down there 50, if not 50. He really needs to get it together. Um, just glow in the fact that, I mean, just rest in the fact that you are a hip hop legend and you have done things and you don't need to continue to put yourself in a bad light and make decisions that affect your brand because you have gone down as one of the greatest. So don't be out here making these crazy decisions. And it's, it's just so unfortunate. Like we see this over and over and over. Um, even when I did my video on Ray J, and I'm not saying Ray J is a legend or anything, but you do see most of these celebrities, they're in a state of arrested development. Um, the fame, fame is a hell of a drug. And when you get it at a, a young age and you get access to things that you didn't necessarily have access to and now you have it like right there and you have so many yes men and people not really holding you accountable that all plays into the decisions that you make later on in life because people are so concerned with not wanting to piss you off that they'll pretty much just let you go astray and they'll stand by and watch and that's why I always tell people you know even normal people have people around you that are going to hold you accountable because if you don't you're going to end up like the people that we see on tv you're going to be out here wilding and, and that's not good it's not good at all because it makes you look bad it makes your brand look bad and it makes everybody who is connected to you look bad so being that nelly has reconnected with ashanti and they do have a child now this was one of the biggest one of the biggest stories of this year and you're now attached to her so the decisions that you make they do affect her and ashanti has managed to have even though she was with you know had that situation with her she has really been unproblematic you know for most of her career so just be mindful of what you're doing and make better decisions and understand that it's okay to grow older you don't have to you know always be with the, the young folks you know you can definitely be with them but understand that you are at a certain age and sometimes stuff just gets old
But anyway, I just wanted to talk about this situation and not come at it from an attacking point of view, but just to kind of analyze it a little bit. But that's all I have. So like this video, share this video, comment down below. What do you think has happened to Nelly or what do you think he's going through? Let's talk about it and I will see you all on my next one. Bye.